Hi, um, it has come to my attention that some of you would like to know how to edit or change uh, something in a document that has already been signed or edit. Um, and some of you don't know how to do it. So I'm just going to do a quick video for you uh, to know how to make those changes. So right now I'm in an opportunity. Um, click on documents and I'm just going to go to the transaction, which will take me to DocuSign. Here you'll see your forms. Obviously you'll pick the one that you want to change that has been signed. All of mine have a uh, safe form here in the corner because none of them have been signed. This is just, um, a test. Um, but let's say you want to change something on your offer to purchase. Um, you would just click on that form that has been signed and you will have to create a new envelope because you are going to send it again to those people that need to be uh, signing it. So here you'll pick everybody that needs to sign that document again. Um, you hit continue. It's taking a little bit to load. You will choose the person that you want to send it to. In this case, I'm going to um, send it to myself. But you would just pick whoever you need to send it to and you're going to hit next. Now the document is going to pull up and let's say you want to uh, change the offer to purchase or the purchase price. You will go to pre-fill tools. You're going to go to line and you're just going to put a red line over that amount, right? Cause you want to change it. Now let's say you want to, um, change it to 250,000 instead of 200,000. So you're going to do text. You're going to put a text box right next to it. And you're going to add a text and you're going to do 250,000 to make that change. And then you're, you have to have it um, initialed, right? So you go back to standard fields, initial for the, to the person that needs to initial it. And anybody, not, everybody that needs to initial need to, you know, you add the initial tab to it. And that's it. And then you send it. So you have, you can make all the corrections you want. Before sending it, you'll just make sure that you add the correction next to it and everybody that needs to sign it again, um, initials it or signs it or whatever the case may be. I hope this helps.